In this video, we're gonna cover one topic which I think is very important, but sometimes a bit neglected or even forgotten. And it is backup. Because I say sometimes, and I think even too often, because we've seen it with uh, some customers that uh, they create an environment, they create some virtual machines, but then they forget about creating also the backup from the very beginning. Some may have already a backup strategy and also a backup tool in place, but some don't have. And for those which either forgot to create a backup or don't are willing to buy a very expensive software for that, there is a very easy fix. And this easy fix is an out of the box backup from the Oracle console. And let's jump into the console to show you how easy it is to set up such a backup. So we're in the console now. And as you see, I've already created an instance. Let's jump to the instances. And here there is my demo instance. So let's jump in this instance and we're gonna see how to create a backup. Under storage, we see our boot volume because at least one boot volume is there for every instance. And this is the volume we're gonna save. Let's jump in the volume itself. And here, as you see, scheduled backups, there is nothing. There are some info points which can explain uh, how to create them, uh, what's meant by cross-region copy targets, and eventually also a direct link to the uh, documentation. But first of all, let's jump in the, boot, uh, in the block volume itself. On the left side, we see block volume backup. And there we are. Yes and no. Because if we create a backup from this voice, from this side, then we just create a one-shot backup which means we have the possibility to create once a backup for this machine or from this boot volume. We say create boot volume backup. We have the possibility to create a full or an incremental one and eventually would even have the possibility to create clones of it. For example, here we can say volume clones, create clones. By creating clones, we have the possibility to decide if we go uh, with a one-to-one -one copy as it is, or even to customize it further, and for example, also change the speed of this volume. By doing so, we could also decide to copy it in another region. Say, okay, cross-region replication. We do a cross-region clip replication in another region, and also in a different availability domain. These are the chances if we started directly from here. But as I mentioned, this will just give us the possibility to create a one-shot backup. If we want to schedule such a backup, we have to go under the block storage. In here, we see we have volume groups, which we're gonna uh, in later, and backup policies, which is the part where we're gonna start with. In the backup policies, we see we have three so-called templates we can use to duplicate and customize. What's the difference between those three templates? We could create even way more policies, but let's start with uh, one of those three templates. Let's have a look at the bronze. The bronze template has two schedules, a yearly one, which creates one backup every year and keeps them for five years. It is also nicely explained in this info tag. You see every first of the year. And then there is a monthly incremental backup every month. If we look at the info tag, every first of the month, there will be a backup and it will be kept for 11 months, 24 days and six hours. Okay. So let's go back. What's the difference amongst the three of them? If we look at the highest one, the gold, we see there is a yearly one, which will be kept for five years, and the monthly, which will be kept for 11 months, 24 days, and six hours, as we've seen before. But in addition, we have also a weekly one, 
which will be created once every Monday, or uh, even a daily one which will be created every day at midnight and will be kept for a week. So let's start with one of them, for example, the bronze, and duplicate this policy. We call it my bronze, sorry. And I don't want to cross copy it. I just want to make a backup. And I say duplicate backup policy. So now I uh, have also the chance to edit the schedule itself by editing the day, the hour, or the retention. I can decide if create an incremental one, and I can also decide if to if to, uh, to choose either the UTC time or the regional data center time. Okay, so once I've set up also um, the schedule, I can go back. And now we go to the volume groups. In the volume groups, we create a volume group where we could add more than one um, uh, volumes. So I say volume group underscore my bronze. I can decide which AD I want. And then I say next. Here I can select the volumes I want to add to this volume group. As we've created before the demo instance, this is the boot volume of the demo instance. And I'm going to select this one. Once I've selected all the volumes I want to back up at the same time, I say next. Again, I can decide to enable uh, asynchronous cross-region replication. I don't want to do so. And then I say next. Here is why first I had to ch uh, choose my policy. As you see, there is my bronze policy, which I created just before. I'm going to select this one and say next. I get a summary of all the setup I've done and I can say create. Now, this volume group um, has been created. Let's go back to the instance. And if we jump into the instance and have a look at the storage, I see my boot volume. And as you see now, in the schedule, I see that my backup policy has been applied to this backup volume. As you've seen, this is a quite easy way to create a backup of your um, compute instance, or let's say of the boot volume of your um, bo um, compute instance. So why not use it um, as it's not that complicated, but it uh, saves you from a lot of trouble.